Braves and Dodgers top three. Braves up 2 1, 2 on one out. Mira! Mira! Andres Galarraga, his 25th RBI. He also got hit for the 143rd time in his career in this game. Next batter, Brian Jordan. Play ahead by Carlos Perez. Perez 0 for 2 at the plate, but who cares because he made that nice grab. Bottom three, Sean Green. Lord have mercy. He just doesn't make him so proud, making his kinfolk, Pookie and him, and Ray Ray, Lucretia, Mr. Bernstein. Green's sixth homer of the year. Dodgers up 4 3. Bottom five, one on two outs, tied at four. Greg Maddox is pitched to Green, gets away from Eddie Perez, pass ball. Two pitches later, Sean Green was off the chain. He was three for three. He upped his average from 311 to 330 in the game, three RBI. Bottom seven, peace. Todd Hollinsworth, his second homer of the year. Greg Maddox has allowed five homers all year, two of them in this game. Dodgers beat the Braves six to four, so the National League's longest. But there will be. Paul Burge running in. Philly's four-game losing streak. No scores. Second inning. One out. This play was not tested on animals. Mike Lieberthal going after it. Crashes into the cameraman. Comes back. Rico Brogna on the carom. Another cameraman was grabbed from the cameraman dispenser. Look again. Lieberthal tackles the camera to try to stay in play. Brogna makes a nice catch. Now listen. Go, go, go. That's hazard pay. <laughs> Good catch. Everyone's okay. Bottom of five men on first and second. Bobby Abreu the other way. Dimitri Young. Uh oh. Paul Bird will score. Abreu tagged out at third by Aaron Boone. Trying to stretch into a triple. Didn't work out. Bird would later leave with a strained left groin. Phillies up 4 nothing. 5 2. The Reds are down. Wayne Gome. Ken Griffey son. Mickey Morandini steps up and throws the first to get Kenneth trying to run it out. The Phillies win it 5 2. Griffey 0 for 4 in this one. Philly ended its four game losing streak, winning for just the second time in 11 games. Paul Bird lowered his ERA from a horrific 10.19 to a merely embarrassing 7.66. This was written previous to seeing that Bird said, The fans are negative and the media is negative. Media being plurally should have said, are negative. Mets, Giants. He's talking about Philly media. Why am I going to blame the media for stuff? There's a young Mike Piazza. was so cute at that age. Loaded up. Mike Hampton. That's a walk. The media walked him. 4-3. Had he had a luxury box, he wouldn't have walked him. 5-3 Giants. Melvin Moore to left. Barry Bonds. No one can get to anything on Wednesday. The media missed that ball. Matt Franco, Todd Pratt score. Moore coming for three. It'll be close. Or it won't be close at all. Five to five. We're tied at five in the eighth. Mike Piazza. Pinch hit double. First appearance since his injury. Kong Chula! That was the Chula. Piazza stranded though later. Bottom of 11. We're playing extra time here. Injury time. Jeff Kent. And even with derogatory credit, you can own a brand new car. Kent seventh, though not in this game. That would be a record. The Giants win it 8-5. to five. They won three straight at Pac Bell. Striking Jose Cruz Jr. out for the second time. Baldwin, seven in the third. Four hits, two earned runs. Bottom six, Mark Johnson. Oh, my goodness. His second homer of the year. Jose Valentin, second homer of the day. Fifth career multi-homer game. I'm talking fast because Frank Thomas hit his sixth homer. And then, oh, my goodness, Paul Canerco. What's up? White Sox hit four homers in the sixth. They go back to back to back for the first time since 1996. James Baldwin has an afro. Sox into three game skid. James Baldwin wins his fifth game. He didn't win his fifth game last year until August 1st. Chicago now has 43 homers in 28 games. With top three, Royals up 2 1. Ben Greaves slices the pitch to left center. Check out Carlos Beltran, 1999 AL Rookie of the Year. Nice grab, but he left the game with a sprained left wrist. Top seven, five, two A's, Terrence Long. He get. No, wait a second, that guy's not here. Get him on again, Taylor! A's club, three homers and seven doubles. The ball landed in the fountain. They're going to win at 14 to five. Oakland's 10 hits in the seventh inning. At Cleveland, I was just mentioning Yankee Stadium. Yankees up one nothing. Dave Justice taking it to center. Jim Tomey heading home. Bernie Williams, the throw. Not bad, Jorge Posada. He looks like he held on. Ties it at one. Cleveland will get a couple more in the inning. Mark Witten in center field. And that's unusual. Coming in as a sub. Ninth inning. Steve Carsey pitching to Shane Spencer. Newbie! 
Dropped the ball at the wall, couldn't get to it. Still a tough play, but he couldn't get up to get it. Spencer the triple, tying runs to third, one away. Next batter, Scott Grosius. Grosius. Single in the center, Spencer comes to score, we're tied at five. Two batters later, Ricky Leday at bat, two out. Deep center, Wooden should have this to make up for the last one. Obviously, he did not watch the Tom Amensky defensive drills video. It's endorsed by Fred McGriff. Grocious comes in to score all the way from first, and the Yanks win it six to five. He powers down two on Brian Giles, gets Pat Hankin one on Giles, hits it over a wall. Sixth of the year, Pirates up three to two. Now we're in the seventh. Pirates up six to Kevin Young, man on second. Young, big fly. Ray Langford should have it. Boat! It's like a double. Giles comes to score. Pirates win eight to two. Quick game. Chris Benson wins despite walking seven in seven. Four walks in the first alone. Brian Giles, homer, drove in three. His 10 RBI in eight games since becoming the Pirates cleanup hitter. Diamondbacks, Brewers, fourth inning, tied at one. Jeff Jenkins taking Omar Dahl way out. Big play to meet. Solo homer, Jenkins with 11 this year. Brewers up 2-1. Now Brewers still up 2-1. Sean Barry off of Dahl. Two-run dong. First homer of the year. The media pressure will be intense for a second. Brewers up 4-1. Seventh inning. Horatio Estrada, looking for Major League win number one in his first. Danny Klassen, wiffle ball, it curves. Horatio Estrada, winner in his first ever Major League start, allowed just one run in the seven innings. He had made four relief appearances last season for Milwaukee. The go-ahead homer from Sean Berry, who opened the game hitting 118. And Davey Lopes, the manager, gets the win on his 55th birthday. Doc of the double race hosting Texas. Top six, Gooden in some trouble. Pudge in second, facing Rudy Mateo. Mateo, right up the gap, one of 11 Ranger hits. Jordan Williams decides to try and tell Pudge at the plate. Nail Pudge at the plate, not pale Pudge at the plate. He couldn't do either. Mateo advances to second on the throw home. Two batters later, Mateo still in second. My bad. Gooden's pickoff throw goes off Mateo's foot into left center. Mateo doesn't hesitate. Goes home, Texas up four zip. Bottom eight, two on John Wetland, facing the potential tying run and pinch hitter Jose Canseco. Canseco lines one off of Wetland's glove. Scott Sheldon picks it up, flips to Royce Clayton for the force. Wetland career save number 299. Rangers win at 5-1. Texas wins its third straight, and that's a season high, which tells you what kind of season has been for the Rangers. The Devil Rays have dropped eight straight to Texas at home, which tells you what kind of career they've had against the Rangers at Tropicana Field. Mariners twins, top seven. A Rod facing Brad Radke, two on one out. Fly ball down the Rodriguez right fouls the ball down the right field line, trying to be a player. Lost Matt Lawton, line. PhD, player hate degree. Take a look, he hated on the replay as well. Lawton also hitting 358 this year. Bottom 10, one out, bases loaded. I'm going to build to this excitement. Bases loaded, bottom 10. Guzman to Jose Mesa, offering to left field. And Jacques Jones tags from third base and scores on the sack fly. All right. Jones was three for three for the game. I just need a minute. One on. Oh, Henry pops the ball up to short left. Tim Bogar goes out. The ball hits off his glove and drops. And Mark Gray scores his 1,000th career one. Still first, sacks Jack. Damon Buford unjacks them. I don't know if that's a word, unjacks, but I'll use it, which reminds me if Webster wrote the first dictionary. Where do you find the words? <laughs> Top eight, Kyle Farnsworth in relief. Two on four, three Cubs. Mitch Molesky up the middle. Eric Young. So what, what happened? <laughs> Young's fourth error this year. Base is now loaded for Matt Mieske, and he got played like a harmonica by Farnsworth. Mieske only hitting 133. So a 133 hitter can strike out. So can Caminetti, a 308 hitter. Cubs win 4-3. Kenny just popped his wrist. A week ago, John Lieber was lifetime 3-6 and six against the Astros. Now he's beaten Houston twice in the last six days, throwing a complete game against them last Thursday. Said Lieber, I can't explain it, which makes me saying said Lieber irrelevant because he really didn't say anything. Expos and Rockies, Vladimir Guerrero in right field wearing sunglasses, but he doesn't wear batting gloves. Obviously overrated because he hits 391. Mike Lansing off the wall, off Guerrero's head. Guerrero hits the wall. Lansing ends up with his first triple of the year. Guerrero shaking up on the play, and his sunglasses broke. So he gives them to a trainer, but he doesn't get a new pair. Two batters later, Jeff Cirillo pops one to right. One of Cirillo's four hits, all of them singles. 
And Guerrero should have gotten a new pair of sunglasses. Why, ha, ha. Rule the hit through in Colorado. Oh, too late now, Vladimir, to decide he needs some sunglasses. Bottom six Rockies have tied their team record for hits at 21. Darren Bragg is all to the good. He said one Rocky player. He what? He's going to throw him out. No, he's good. He's good on. One Rocky player said, when I go to the plate, I feel like I should get a hit every Somebody give him a muff to make him feel better. Let's go to game action. Albert Bell, way back and deep. Bell, third dawn, but first in 22 games. Orioles up 1-0. Tied at three. We're in the sixth. Jason Johnson. Behind 3-0 on Mo Vaughn. My power is beyond your understanding. His sixth. 22 RBI this year, 4-3 the Angels. Now 6-5, Baltimore trailing. Mike Holtz comes in. Brady Anderson goes out. He has long sideburns. The Angels had lost nine straight and 14 of the last two-feet shirt against Wendell McGee. He'll be involved a lot. The runner on first, one out. McGee, the grounder. Wilton Barris, the third. Barris, Jose Offerman, turn it. 5-4-3. And, and the numbers from the fronton were 2-9. and nine. Bottom eight, tied at two. Jose Offerman against Jeff Weaver. Off the bag, comes into the right field corner. McGee going after it. Fan throws beer on him as part of the New England charm. Offerman has a double. Trot Nixon's your next batter. Husband of former RPM Tonight employee, and he takes a deep. Fan reaches over to grab it. It's ruled a ground rule double. Offerman scores. The Red Sox go on to win four to two, so the fan's heavily involved. Before getting some good luck from the first base bag, Offerman had been parked on the bench for two games, like something on a timeout corner for his own 50.